behind creating a YouTube channel and reviewing things came to me because of this one product. I was looking for something, somebody who had reviewed this and for some reason I just couldn't find a single video back in the day. I got this about six months ago and fortunately and fortunately I saw not even a single review guys whether you believe it or not. Uh, of course it's possible somebody must have reviewed this but for some reason I researched and researched and I just saw a review for the OG Pro Clay Mask. Uh, the, the one that comes in a tub, not this one. And this was all the rave. I mean industry was promoting this like anything back then. But you know what, it's an expensive product, I'm not gonna lie. It's This retails for 1500 and it wasn't on sale or anything. So I was a bit let down. I thought, okay, you know what, I might as well get it. Now before I go into reviewing this, what is it about? What is it like? Is it worth your money? I want to throw a little disclaimer out there. Number one, I have never ever ever used anything like an AHA, PHA mask. I absolutely have no experience with chemical exfoliants and also I have a very oily skin. So whenever I read something that's a clay mask, I always get very happy because I love clay masks. I think they're amazing. They suit me like anything else. And you know, even though I was a bit scared with the chemical exfoliants in there, I was told that this is really, really, really soothing for oily skin. And also it's, it's not very harsh and we can use it every day. So I figured that, you know, something that's been promoted as you know, a clay mask that you can use every day. You can see this right here. It says daily pore care. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I can use this. I could try it once a week, see how it goes. And I did. It's been interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's been very interesting. Um, so if you guys are interested in knowing more about this, or if you are thinking about buying this, I'll tell you. Let's get into it. <laughs> right? Okay. So I paid for this this was not on sale you guys this was a fresh product it was being promoted like anything like i told you you know marketed like the next it thing and i got about a hundred dollars worth of product in there it's by innisfree for those of you who don't know it's a really amazing korean brand and it's amazing to be quite honest i know i'm gonna keep saying amazing every now and then because i even though i haven't used a lot of products from innisfree i am sucker for the sheet masks i have a different method of using the sheet masks so if you guys are interested in that please let me know i can talk to you about that but that's cool okay so talking about this product it's a volcanic calming pore clay mask for those of you who don't know about clay masks i'll tell you clay masks are really good for you know oily skins they really suck out all the dirt and moisture from you know under your skin and leave you with a really cool nice soft subtle skin but the thing with clay masks is if not used properly or if they're too harsh they can make your skin quite dry so i am a bit skeptical about clay masks the ones i swear by are the ones i swear by the ones i don't swear by i stay away from so i so i believe i told you i got this about six months ago and yeah so let's see what it's like. So it comes in this really nice carton box, very sturdy. It makes you feel like yes, you got something that you paid your money for. It's it's not going to be that harsh. It's it's quite nice actually. It has a very nice feel to it. I don't know if you can hear this, but yeah, the box is quite sturdy. Opening it up, you get this really nice tube. Oops. How many times has this happened? Oh, right, so it comes in this tube, right? And I personally prefer applying clay masks with brushes because I feel like you get a nice even layer that you do with your hands. It's a mystery and I usually use this with a brush. Now, the thing is, as you can already see, I did not use a lot of this product, you guys. I 
I follow a lot of home remedies. I don't really go for um, you know marketed products that you get on the shelves because I, I I have a sensitive skin like that. So you know when I used this a couple of times, I was really amazed. I was really excited to see. Oh my gosh, what is it even about? But then when I used it, I realized that you know even though it did do a pretty decent job. I felt like I got more out of my feelers about my Multani Mid Tea. I mean, if you haven't used it, I think you should. There are so many different ways you can use Multani Mid Tea. I, if you guys are interested, I can do a full depth tutorial into how many ways you can use Multani Mid Tea and how amazing it is, right? Inexpensive and amazing. The thing with this was, even though it was about 1500 and it was, you know, supposedly going to change my life, I felt like I got very similar results with my Multani Minti. Um, it didn't do anything that crazy for me. I mean, it's nice if you are, you know, looking for a Sunday pampering day or something like that. If you guys are interested in that, sure, you can follow this. But if not, I mean, I don't think that you're missing out on anything that crazy. It's, it's okay. It's a decent clay mask, but it's not. I don't think it's worth the hype. So it's a nice tube again very sturdy you feel like you paid good money for it it actually feels like it's worth all of that i'm gonna so that's what it is as you can see i have used it a bit uh one thing i want to tell you before i actually show you the texture show you what it's like this actually you know they told me that you need to keep this for just about five minutes on your face nothing more than that and within five minutes you get that tingling sensation and you feel like something's working and because i don't have a lot of experience with chemical exfoliants i think it might be the aha and pha at work here again i don't know i might be right i might be wrong uh what do you guys think have you used this right okay enough i know what you're here for <laughs> let me show you okay so just need to put this for about it's just like a very simple clay mask it's not very thick it's quite thin actually and the thing with this is it actually dries down really fast like within five minutes it will actually dry out and that is not something i can say for my fuel earth my mutani mitti it does take a while to dry up and i actually like that because it helps me feel like you know it's all nice and cool out there. I don't know if I got that from this, to be quite honest. Maybe it's just my skin. Maybe it's just my experience. Because the other product by Innisfree that I swear by, which is my, you know, my sheet masks, I actually hoard them. And I'm not joking. They're pretty good. Really good, in fact. They're some of the best sheet, sheet masks I've used. I've been using them for about... If I'm being very honest, I've been using them for about five to six years now. You know, back when sheet masks were, you know, just starting to come out. Yeah, so it's been pretty nice. But this, I'm not sure. I really am not sure. I think it's nice to be... I don't know. I mean, it's nice if you have this on your shelf, if you can reach out for it once in a while. But in the six to eight months I've had this, I've probably used this less than four times. So, I mean, I don't reach out for it enough whenever I feel like my skin needs that my skin has a lot of dead skin or I need some exfoliation I need some clearing out I honestly do go to my Mutani Vinti I go for my Fulaza I do not reach out for this and you know paying 1500 for this I don't think it's worth it I don't know if you guys can pick out on it but it's starting to dry up yeah so it's great it's great it's nice but i don't know if it's anything to be crazy about i honestly don't think uh, if you did not get this you would have major regrets unless you are starting to look into chemical exfoliants and you want to start with something that's you know very very mild because that's what i keep hearing everybody say in fact i have another product which has retinol and hyaluronic acid in it and i did use
honestly quite expensive and does the same job as my feelings are. In fact, a funny joke uh, that one of my cousins cracked <laughs> when I actually put this on her was, you know, it will do the same job as a pillars are. It's just more expensive and it gets the job done in less a time. That's about it. So, I mean, if you're in a hurry, again, I think that would probably be one of those things because we're all working these days. We're all on the job. We're all always running. So, if you guys are interested in that, you're like, okay, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have half an hour on my hands. I want to get this thing done in the next five minutes, maybe. This could be your thing. Not joking. This could actually be your thing. But other than that, I personally did not reach out for it. So, yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you like this. Let me know if you guys are into something like this. And, and before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to my one of my favorite candles. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. It's one of my favorite sand candles from Bath and Body Works. It's called Fiji White Sands. This is such a nice candle. It's such a nice candle. If you guys want me to review candles, scented candles, I have quite a collection. Bath and Body Works. I actually had a phase where I went crazy and I have some 30 odd candles. So if you guys want, I can absolutely show it to you. Maybe in one of the videos coming up next. It's going to be a long one though. Till then.